Hey friends, it's your boy SVH coming at you with today's bowl of sake for July 10th by Hazrat Nayakhan. It is the lover of God whose heart is filled with devotion who can commune with God. Not he who makes an effort with his intellect to analyze God. So, it's the lover of God whose heart is filled with devotion who can commune with God. So, right there is the key right there that God has to live in your heart. You have to commune with God in your heart, not uh, analyze God intellectually or see God as something that's a far away, uh, you know, being from us. And that's the problem is that we tend to analyze God and we, uh, we, we do it with our intellect, with our little small pea brains that don't uh, experience God or feel God, you know, um, they just conceptualize God and think of God. But it's the lover of God whose heart is filled with devotion, who can commune with God. So it's filling your heart with that devotion to that uh, connection to God that actually brings that connection about. Um, Merchant says here, science is learned by analysis and esotericism by synthesis. If a person who wants to obtain esoteric knowledge brings things up into bits, breaks things up into bits, he is analyzing them. And as long as he does this, he will never come to understand esotericism. Esotericism, I'm sorry. In philosophy two things are needed analysis and synthesis and when through a better understanding of psychology one has accustomed oneself to synthesis as well as to analyze then one prepares oneself to synthesize only which leads to a fuller understanding of esotericism Therefore, the acquisition of esoteric knowledge is quite different from the study of science. So, you know, Merchant uses this word synthesis, and synthesis is, is to really synthesize. It's something that you're absorbing, that you're taking in, that you're becoming part of. Uh, it's, a, it's a synthesis within the being um, that takes place. He also says, it is the lover of God whose heart is filled with devotion who can commune with God, not the one who makes an effort with his intellect to analyze God. In other words, it is the lover of God who can commune with him, not the student of his nature. It is the I and you which divide, and yet it is I and you which are necessary conditions of love. Although I and you divide the one life into two, it is love that connects them by the current which is established between them. And it is this current which is called communion, which runs between man and God. So it's the lover of God, the devotion to God, that actually makes that communion between you and God and connects us to God in a way that's much more meaningful and much more alive and real um, than to just analyze God or to see God from an intellectual standpoint. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the true essence of mysticism. Um, if you look up the termina ter terminology for mysticism, it's to have a close communion with God. Um, people look at mysticism as something new age or something that's, uh, 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 you know, of the occult or whatever the case may be. And uh, it's it's really not. Uh, mysticism is to have that close communion with God. It's, it's that uh, synthesis of that relationship. Um, it's that current that you establish between you and the divine. Um, that connects you. So yeah, powerful bowl of sake today. Really good one. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back again tomorrow with another.